Hi everyone, it is Bren with Addicted to Cricut. Today I'm going to show you one of my most favorite font tricks, and that is using a font manager. I know thinking about a font manager may sound a little daunting, but really it's very easy. Right now I've got up the main type font manager. It's the High Logic main type font manager. But I also use another one that's a little bit simpler, and this is it. And it's called the Nexus font. And as you can see, it's a lot easier, um, not so much stuff going on. Um, and they both do the same thing. It just depends on what you're looking for. Some people may want all the information that this one has to offer. And so I have them both. So let me just show you how I use them. Let's say, for instance, that we decided that we wanted to make this little picture and we really liked the font that they had here, but we don't, of course, know what it is. So all I would do is I would type the word basil up here, which I have done. And as you can see, it then shows me all the different um, fonts. So I can just put this side by side. I actually put it in my other screen. And I just scroll down through it until I find the one I want. And the same thing with the Nexus font. I just write my word right here. It can be a word, it can be a sentence, it can be anything that you want in order for you to be able to see what that font is gonna look like on your project. So you just take your text and you put it right there. And then you just scroll through and you find which one you want. Once you find the font that you want, go back over to um, Cricut Design Space and search for that particular font. Let's see, I kind of like this one. It's not exactly the same, but it's close. So it's Autumn and November. Now remember, all of the fonts that are in here are fonts that I already have downloaded to my computer. And so, it should also be in Cricut Design, Design Space too. So let's go back over here to Cricut Design Space and let's put the word basil in there, just like that. And then all we have to do is come up here to where it says font, click it, and we can actually uh, search it. Here it is, autumn in November. There we go. So we, of course, would want to put this together a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and just use the advanced option where I just can move them myself over how I want them. And there you go. They're all combined. Of course, I'm going to want to group them and then I'm going to weld them. And if you haven't seen any of my other tutorials, you probably don't know why. If I weld them, they're all now one piece. Um, if I only group them or attach them, when Cricut goes to cut them, all the cut lines will be in there. And I don't want it. I didn't want this to all cut out fine. Okay, so there you go. That is the reason that we use a font manager because it's so much easier than going through the fonts one by one. Because if you notice, let me type that text in again. If you notice when you come up here and you're going through the fonts, it may say that it looks a certain way, but that doesn't mean that it does. Okay, let me see if I can find a quick. Okay, so that one, the Aloha Luna, didn't look anything like the example that was on Cricut Design Space. So how would I know what it's going to look like? And so that's why I like to use, that one looks pretty much the same. I like to use the font manager because the font manager actually shows me what the font looks like. Now, what happens if you don't find a font in here that you like? You can still go back out and go to font.com. You can choose a font that you want. Let's say cartoon, who knows? And right here, it says preview. You can once again, put in your text. Okay. And just like the font manager, 
it will then show you the text. It will show you your text, your words, so you'll know exactly how it's going to look. And then once you find one that you like, you'll download it. Once you download it, your font managers will automatically bring it up and put it in your library on your font manager. Now remember, once you download a new font onto your computer, you have to then come over to Cricut Design Space and you have to refresh it because it won't add it to its library until you refresh it. Okay guys, that's how easy that is. This one is the Nexus font and the other one is the HiLogic. And um, the links are in my post, oh sorry. So you can choose either one, they're both free. You can download them both, you can download one. Um, this, uh, the HiLogic one always pops up and says, do you wanna use the paid version or the freed version? Mm, that's a no brainer, I want the free version. Um, and so just use the free version. You don't have to ever do the, the paid version at all. Um, you can download them both or you can just download both uh, or just one. Okay, guys, go and have fun and enjoy your new font manager.